Tensions are high in Chicago as police prepare to release body camera footage next hour of the fatal shooting of a seventh grader. The footage will come after nearly three weeks of demands for transparency from protesters and activists after the death of 13-year-old Adam Toledo on March 29th. Prosecutors say officers were responding to shots fired by another man, a 21-year-old they say was near Toledo. Officers say both fled. The officer who chased Toledo said the teen had a gun, refused to put it down, and was shot in the chest when he turned toward the officer. A weapon was recovered at the scene. The officer has not been identified and has not been charged, but is currently on administrative leave. In addition to the officer's body camera, we also expect third-party video to be released as well. The city held off on releasing this evidence until it was viewed by Toledo's family. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot addressed the shooting and the tensions in her city just last hour. No parent should ever have a video broadcast widely of their child's last moments. much less be placed in a terrible situation of losing their child in the first place. Even as our understanding of this incident continues to evolve, this remains a complicated and nuanced story. And we all must proceed with deep empathy and calm. Joining me now from Chicago is NBC News correspondent Rahama Ellis and still with me is retired Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best. So, Rahama, this happened back in March. We're just learning about it now. Bring us up to speed. One of the things, Katie, is that, as you pointed out in the intro to this, that people have been marching and demanding that this video be released. The police have... Um, under law now, they are required to release this video within a certain period of time, and now we are at that moment. You pointed out the family has seen the video, the mayor has seen the video, was asked to characterize it. She said she would not do that out of respect for the family and because she, she says this investigation is ongoing. She was also asked about what is happening, and we're talking about a 13-year-old a boy who was out in the early hours, about 2.30 in the morning on a Monday of March 29th, and that's almost uh, two and a half weeks ago. What was going on and what is happening with young people? The mayor talked about that there are too many young people who have been left vulnerable, and she said that they are living with trauma for a very long time. Just take a listen to more of what she said. Far too many of our communities many of our young people are witness to or fall victim to violence and are left traumatized. I have sat in too many circles watching these young people who are beautiful and magnificent but traumatized by the violence that they experience every day. Every day as residents of our city we've got to do things differently to change around their fortunes we owe it to them to do better but the mayor didn't have any specific answers as to what could be done she pointed out that there are community resources that have been going out to try and provide opportunities for young people uh, and yet as you could hear a very emotional time for her as she's seen too much of this too too often these kinds of situations are happening. But this is the youngest shooting victim of police in a long time here in Chicago. Protests have happened. Protests are expected again today. So far, they have been peaceful. The mayor, the police, and even the family of Adam have called for people to be peaceful. The family saying specifically, honor his memory in peace. Katie? That picture of him, he just looks like such such a baby in that shot. Um, Chief Best, the mayor called this case complicated. From what we know of it, um, it appears, I guess, to be complicated. Uh, but what will you be looking out for once we do see that body cam footage and potentially that third party footage? Well, certainly people are going to want to see the weapon and see what the officers saw uh, that, you know, that 
caused him to um, shoot this young man and this young child, actually. And so people are going to be looking at everything uh, and trying to process what happened. It's not going to change the fact that people are going to be upset because this child was 13 years old. So there's going to be a lot of emotions. People are going to really um, feel the pain. All of us, many of us have children of our own, are going to think about what that would be like uh, to have a child who obviously, uh, you know, is so young and their life uh, being taken in that way and coming on the heels of so many other um, shootings and high profile incidents that emotions are going to be running terribly high. Um, uh, and so I, at this point, I think that we can fully expect there'll be continued demonstrations, uh, continued uh, vigilance and, and people and police, you know, on high alert because um, it's such a tragedy. Uh, it's unfortunate that it took so long uh, for the video to be seen. It might have been um, more palpable if it could have been commensurate to the event. But, you know, here we are and we can fully expect there's going to be some pretty strong reaction. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.